now I'm just refreshing to make sure. But it should be good. Yeah. We are live. Awesome. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, we are short one person at the moment, but uh, we are still here. We're going to be playing Trek 12 today, and we'll be teaching here in just a few minutes after we chat a little bit and maybe answer a couple of questions that people have sent in. And I mute Twitch so that I don't keep hearing myself twice. <laughs> Always yes. a key thing to do uh, when you stream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but yes, good evening, everyone, or whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Um, for those who don't know, we are Weird Draft Games. Um, I'm Justin. We have Chelsea above me, uh, Beth, who you've already heard talking, and then Angel in the background. Hello. You want to say hi? Um, we're all different members of Weird Draft Games doing different things for the team. Um, if you don't know who we are, go watch one of our past streams or come say hi to us somewhere online. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've said it enough times, right? <laughs> I am totally cool with that. Yes. Um, we are not sure if Carla's joining us tonight, so we're going to give her a few minutes to uh, attempt to jump on. Beth, what questions did we receive this past week, if any? Uh, it would help if I knew that, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be beautiful if you knew that. Yeah, yeah maybe I should do that instead of tweeting I thought, I thought about that's right what now. we did. Of these yeah, and I even said questions. I'll throw some questions out, but yeah, let's like, not prepare. You know, this is spontaneity right here. We're just, we're just validating Very the fact true. that the questions you send in, we are not prepped for. So... You know, this will be uh, spur of the moment answering of questions. Let's see. Thank you, Google Docs. Um, what's something that immediately makes you want to learn more about a board game? The art. I am a sucker for art. Sorry, I just like jumped in there, but like, <laughs> oh no, that's great. Like I'm like, like Everdale. It. I love Everdale. We have everything, oh, yeah. and and I am like. Like a hawk with my email waiting mm -hmm. for that notification not that i have any time to play it but i just want to have it here mm -hmm. but the only, when i first backed it it was the art same with root i was like i don't know if i'm gonna like this but the the wood creatures just look so cute and it will draw me in every single time whether it's cute or like just different or like good art in general just i i will click on that kickstarter and find out more about it. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely the same way. Um, I've always kind of said that art uh, will bring me to the table and then gameplay keeps me there. Mm -hmm. So the art attracts me and makes me want to look more in at the game. And then once I start playing, it needs to also have a little bit of depth and good strategy. Um, if it just has good art, I don't want to keep playing it. It's just pretty to look at. <laughs> but if it doesn't have good art to bring me to the table in the first place, I probably won't ever try it. So it, there has to be a good balance of both for for most games, at least for me. I think I like um, theme ends up getting my attention a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. We just saw um, a pirate game on Kickstarter that we had to back because all of the pirate stuff was there and we were excited about it. But, uh, you know, it is gameplay later, but that does tend to catch my eye first if if it's a subject I'm interested in or a game mechanic I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was cool. It was actually uh, just looking up. It's called Lying Pirates. Uh, but yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, it's basically they look so dice, cool. <laughs> but like to a, a thousand, like with a bunch of extra to it. Mm -hmm. Added a bunch more there. I threw a link in the chat if anybody's curious. I about thought it. you said wine pirates, and I was like, <laughs> wine? <laughs> like, wine yeah. pirates sounds amazing. Unless, <laughs> exactly. unless they are stealing from us, in which case they need to go down. Exactly. I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. I am uh, with Angel, and I, well, I guess with everybody, really, because both theme and art totally get me. Everdell is a, a, a fantastic example of that. Even. Um, uh, what the heck's the bird game called? The really famous bird Wingspan. game. Wingspan. Wingspan, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, I remember Elizabeth Hargraves. I don't remember Wingspan. Anyway, uh, just the fact that it had eggs in it was like, okay, I want this game. And the, so, They're so cute. <laughs> they are cute. And we don't even own it physically. We own the digital version. It's still cute enough. So, like, Have you seen this, that? this like, speckled ones? No, yes. but I heard it, about them. 
there's no reason to. Oh, I mean, I have, I have extra eggs. There's no reason that I need to buy them. Yeah. Every time I'm like, <laughs> but you need to buy them. Yeah, it's like we need to buy. I have it, but but I want them so badly. Absolutely. Uh, on the I flip side of that weird. question, what is something that immediately makes you not care about a game? Hmm. A poor roll book. Oh, oh, oh yes. my goodness. Oh. <laughs> if I have to struggle to read it, particularly with my AD, um, ADHD, mm -hmm. if I can't process the rule book, the game could be fantastic. But I, if I can't, I, I have to put it down and then go back and then put it down. And by the time I'm done reading it, I've already forgotten what I read before because I've had to stop so many times to, or, or and when they're like disorganized. So mm -hmm. like, they'll be like, we're going to talk about this here, but three pages later, we're going to talk about it. Same, like, action or, or part of the game, but it's not the same content. So then I'm like, wait, what page was it on? And my brain can't handle it. Yeah, that is absolutely, like, I, we were, how, we were, <laughs> wow, sorry, I am upset right now. We were playing a game semi-recently, <laughs> and uh, the rule book is a whopping two pages, front and back of a page, piece of paper. And uh, the rule book, the cards, and the reminder card all said something completely different about what one of the cards does. Um, it was halfway through the first page before we even knew what the game was because it was talking about like the alternate ways you could play or things you could or could not do if you wanted to, things like mm -hmm. that. Um, this was a prototype, so I totally understand that those aren't going to be completely up to par. But like, yeah, if, if somebody wants me to learn their game, like, make it so that I can learn your game <laughs> that would be great <laughs> yeah but uh yeah I would say the rule book and um I also think theme is another one of those things like not necessarily that like if a theme is is weird it's bad but more like if it's something I just really don't like like mm -hmm. if something's really dark like just like super violent like gory violent like I'm not a fan if it's like we're going to be like straight up summoning demons and like the currency is your soul and have fun with that. Then like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> but pretty much anything else. Like, I mean, I don't mind making dresses or, you know, like trading in the Mediterranean or whatever, but if it's something way bad for me, I, I won't play it. Strictly good. Uh, for me, it, it leans somewhat towards the rule book stuff, but I think on top of it, because I play a lot of games solo. So with solo gaming, what turns me away is if there's way too much upkeep uh, for the Automa, or if the solo version of a game is extremely different than the core game from multiplayer. Because I'm looking for the same experience as a multiplayer game while playing solo. Um, and so if yeah. it's, to me, it's like, why do you have solo if it's not matching the rest of the game? Yeah. That, that goes with the same thing where it says two to four players but really it's it's a three to four player game and you mm -hmm. have to have oh yes yep. I, I don't i don't mind owning it but don't let me sit down and learn it and then be like oh well it's different i have mm -hmm. to add another person to manipulate plus manipulate my own stuff so <laughs> yeah i get that or even just a lot of it's missing like there have been so many games that uh we end up interested in and then we have to google like this is good for two players and it's like no don't do it. Don't try. Like uh, no. Oath is a game I'm really, really interested in. Uh, Oath and Root, both. Uh, they both just seem amazing. And uh, I keep hearing that neither one of them is fun at two players. And so we have yet to dive into that. But. Yeah, like I have Oath. Um, and I like it. We like it. But at two players, we, we, we won't have even try attempt to play it. So it's just sitting there. I think for me, um, what would have me not bringing a game back out would be either the setup or the scoring takes longer than the actual game. <laughs> that kind of drives me crazy. You got to have enough gameplay to make it worth setting something up, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes inserts help with that. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Like Bloom Haven. Like, mm -hmm. we bought the insert before we even like got it out of the box I, I for Gloomhaven. Yep. like we are not even bothering if we don't get that 
I did, would, I did open that box just to see how terrible it was, and we didn't even take anything apart because I was like, yep, they were right. But we we it. had right. it, and we had one of those foldable tables, like six-foot tables, just sitting with it constantly out until we bought the insert. <laughs> so we're like, That's we're awesome. like, we're not putting this away. That's our game table too, actually, is a six foot <laughs> folding table. And it's got a soft top. So that's really actually fun I think it's nice shorter than six foot. It's like four foot. Like oh, I guess you're right. Some games on it. If it was six foot, like we could just lay on the thing and there's no way that's happening. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just gonna lay on my table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is mine. Leave it alone. So speaking of that, we have a a, a, a game topper. So when we go on vacation to um, Chuck's like family cabin in New York, take the topper. So instead of like taking a foldable table with us, we're like, we'll run to Lowe's and pick one up. Well, we didn't have a six foot table. We had an eight foot table. <laughs> and we needed a table to play because that's what we do when we go there. So we bought the eight foot table and we left it there. Um, but there's like a, you know, a good chunk on each side. Just hanging out. I was like, it's it's a it's for it's for water, so it's not on the on the on the <laughs> actual game table. It's for our yeah, drinks and our snacks. Right. Do but, not move it closer yeah. than this, or else. Yeah. <laughs> we all need one of those game tables that you put the um top on so you can just yeah. I wish we had one oh, of those. Those look so nice, yeah. Just cover it up and boom, you can eat on it now. We, yes. we do that so often. We'll be in the middle of a game and it's lunchtime, and it's like, okay, I guess we got to shove these cards over here and, you know, like pile this stuff up nicely and then, like, just be really careful with our sandwiches now. Because <laughs> like, if I get some ranch on this, I'm like going to lose it. So. <laughs> like, you're grounded. So, yeah. <laughs> no more game for you. You're done. Yep. Oh. Uh, do we want another question, or did we want to get started on the game? Uh, well, we can at least invite anyone in chat to let them know oh, yeah. we will be playing Trek 12 tonight on BGA. Mm -hmm. If you would like to join us, um, let us know your username if you're not already friends with Chelsea, and I believe she can still add you to the game. Yes, because I haven't started it. Or if yeah. you have your own copy, of course, you can play along at home with pen and paper. But it's more fun to follow along and play with us online at the same time while in chat. Yeah, then we can see your sheets and how much you're beating us by. Yes. <laughs> and it does the math for you. Yes. yes. Very true. Yeah. That, that was nice because we, we did a practice game on Friday. Um, uh, I think only Chelsea had played before. So the rest of us were kind of learning and trying to make sure we figured out the system. <laughs> Lose well enough on your own. Well, yeah, with, with Chelsea yeah. teaching and playing, high likelihood that you might lose. No offense. But. <laughs> and I like the the. Um, I mean, I have the physical copy, uh, but um, it reminds you when you have to draw the lines. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, I have something here, so it's nice. If anything, that might be nice because there are times where I don't want it to draw a line, but it's supposed to. So I would just be like, oops, I forgot. And then like. <laughs> <laughs> That's called cheating. Yeah. Well, well I, I think you... memory. I'm blaming it on that all the time. I'm going to keep I... a little closer eye on you late now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little concerned. Is that why we have such a small table? Because you, you can see what I'm doing over like, here. What you doing over there? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna start quoting um, Dane Cook with the "Where'd you get the pink fifties, Grandma?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. It's okay. You're going <laughs> seven. <laughs> it doesn't sound like uh, Anna <laughs> wants to join us okay. at least on BGA. Um, do we want to at least get the game started and shown on screen for everyone? Yeah. And yeah. of course, if we have more questions or things we want to talk about, we can continue with that. But we want to have some fun uh, and chat. Uh, now, today is two different days on the calendar. Uh, for one, it is World Mental Health Day. So we want to make sure everyone is taking care of themselves. Do something today that uh, is, is for your own mental health to improve it, to take care of yourself and know that 
uh, you are cared for, you're loved, and you're not alone. Uh, if you ever need anything, reach out to family, friends, or even in our Discord chat. There's plenty of people around that are willing to uh, have, a, have a chat with you or do, play a game with you, whatever it may be that you need to help lift your spirits. And then also, um, I'm drawing a blank because I'm looking at a different chat that popped up. It is also Indigenous, Day. Indigenous Peoples Day. Is that Indigenous the correct? Day. Is that That's the correct exactly. wording? Yes. Okay. I just googled it to make sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, since you googled it, I'll let you do the wording on it. I was like, I know it's in chat somewhere. We were talking yeah, earlier today. We want to make sure we talk about it. Yeah, it's Indigenous Peoples Day today, um, which is much better than the other day uh, that uh, more people know about. Uh, because the one led to the other, and one is a good thing, and one is not a good thing. So huh. today is indeed Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, there are still a lot of issues and struggles going on there. Uh, if you look through Twitter, any of the trending topics on there is a, is a way better place than I would be able to speak on any of it personally. Um, but it's really good to keep in mind because, I mean, especially those of us actually who actually live here in the U.S., like, you know, a lot of us don't realize just what's going on a lot of times with stuff like this. So kind of a day to remember that. Well, I'm not sure there's a the best way to transition from that end of the game. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, anyway. <laughs> now let's do some peaceful exploration here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the mental health side of the game. <laughs> yes. And let, let's relax together, enjoy this game, and uh, trek up the mountain and trek yes. 12. Chelsea, for those who have not played before, do you want to do a quick rundown of what sure. the game is about? Absolutely. So we will be rolling the, the both die uh, that we have the red is from one to six and the yellow is from zero to five. Um, you're going to be placing them on the map. Uh, you can select the lowest one, the highest one. You can subtract them. Always positive. You can get a zero, but um, your numbers will never be negative. You can add them or you can multiply them. We have the, I, be, I think it's the easiest map. There's other ones that have um, like a double line that you can only put zeros through sixes on those. So, but we don't have any on this map, so that's good. Um, and the max that you can place is a 12. Now, if you multiply a five and a six, obviously that's higher than 12. BGA would let you put it on there, but it'll count as a frowny phase and it'll be negative points at the end of the game. So I get three points. What you want to be doing while you're placing your numbers is either a um, uh, map zone, which is numbers of the same uh, the same number in different circles, and that scores the number in the circles plus one point for every other circle that has the same number that's attached, touching. So if it's a four and you have three fours together, it's um, six points because it's two extra ones and then the four, so you would add that up. Now, the fixed lines, it's um, a continuous line. And you could start it with whatever number you want, but it's the highest number to score it. It's the highest number on the line plus one point for every other number in the line, not including that highest number. And they have to be unique. So you can't double up on like two eights. Like you can't have eight, seven, eight, nine. And... Um, one number can't be part of another fixed line. But it can be part of a map zone. So you can double up there. You can't double up in the, the lines. And then for scoring, there's also a bonus, which it's your longest line and your largest map zone. It's um, uh, based on the side. And if you see on the map, if it's like a seven, you know, seven numbers together, it'll give you 15 points. Um, if you have any orphan circles that are not connected to a map zone or a line, there'll be negative three points at the end of the game. And those are all the rules, right? Yeah. Orphan and circles do not become Robin. No. No. 
They go cry in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and every number you place has to be adjacent to a previously placed number. Except the very first one, which you yep. can place anywhere in the map. Now, and every option you have, like for the lowest, the highest, the subtraction, the addition, and the multiplication, you only have that selection up to four times. Once you do it, that option is no longer available for you in the game. And um, you track it in this little grid on the top of the map. So Down below in the scoring area, mm -hmm. there are three squares that say plus three. Do you know what those are? Those are for the expedition trek where you play. Um, it's I want to say legacy, but it's like a little um, like harder and like you play the different maps and there's like okay. envelopes in the boxes. I've never played those. I always end up just playing a single one. Okay. So it's or kind of I like use a little mini campaign. Like a mini campaign, oh, okay. yeah. And you can open um there's like envelopes and stuff that you can do, but I've never actually played those. Ooh. I always end up just picking up and doing a quick one and, and moving on. <laughs> so. so unless we have questions, should we jump into it? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good and uh we can always answer some questions while we're playing too. Right? Yeah. And is it well enough, so of course. Which is why I usually get way with fewer points. That's what I'm blaming it on, is <laughs> focusing on chat. So I'm going to pick a four. And my favorite thing is you're supposed to, like, um, mark them when you're mm -hmm. doing it or, like, color them while you're doing it. BGA does it for you. So the lazy part of me um, enjoys <laughs> that because I don't have to think about it. Yeah. It, like, does the colors for you. Yeah. So see, now my multiplication is four times five. I have a, a frowny face there. So, And you could choose it, and it'll place a frowny face for you. And then you'll get <laughs> negative three points. Well, who doesn't but, want to do that? Like, that's but awesome. you don't get extra points for big chains or groupings of frowny faces. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, no, no. I mean, it's mental health day. You'd think that... BGA would be accepting of the frowny faces today of all days. It is because it's giving you the option to put them on there. That's true. It is It is showing visibility for being sad and accepting <laughs> one's sadness. As a bipolar person, I totally understand that. Well, that's not a good role for any of us, I bet. No, it's not. No. Oh, that's... Oh, <laughs> Justin! Huh? You're, you made a noise. It was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear these numbers. Like, Bleh. <laughs> that, that, that's how I felt. Like, I felt your frustration. I don't know what noise you made, but you, I felt it. I don't think you even realized that you did it. <laughs> no, I knew I made a noise. I just, maybe I didn't realize how bad it sounded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel your pain. I feel your pain. We heard I need now. Now I need a three. If you look up my map, I have like two. Let's see, oh. Anna Maria says that some days are frowny face days, but then we have they coffee. are, and I totally agree with that. Coffee yes. or Mountain Dew, very small candy, so that I don't get um, super manic and run all around the house. All day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> And it's um, sometimes I don't pay attention, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I've used all my pluses." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Damn, like I really need that now." I am abusing anything. my power here with the ability to show messages on the stream. <laughs> Anna Maria said, "Justin, disgusted noises." Disgusted noises. <laughs> and <laughs> now yes. the world gets to see it. <laughs> Achieved. Yes. We felt your pain. Yep. <laughs> Uh. These are not the roles I'm looking for. Not at all. You're supposed to wave your hand when you say that, and then, like, the force works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, <laughs> these are not the roles you're looking for. Hmm. I do appreciate all the ones, though. That's kind of nice. 
But if you're doing map zones with ones, it's one plus however many circles you have attached to the first one. Oh, I forgot about that. that yeah, so it's, it's not the worst. You can still get some points for it. You yeah. can still get some points, but then I do that all the time. I was like, yeah, I have three zeros together. Mm -hmm. It's two points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've played this plenty of, like, plenty of times. Mm -hmm. And I always... For us. Sorry, go ahead. And I always, like, I'm like, oh, that was a bad move. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. It came in handy for us. We were playing, uh, Angel and I played a bunch of times yesterday so that mm -hmm. uh, we wouldn't be sad today. And uh, one of the maps has like a, uh, a kitchen on it, like a house feather. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, one of the things on there is that you get a, a, a negative for the, the circle that's in front of the, the door, like coming mm -hmm. in unless you can connect it to the sink, which is really fitting for these times because you're supposed to be washing your hands, otherwise it's contagion. And... Uh, <laughs> So if you just throw a zero in the, the front door, like it doesn't matter. You're not going to get negative points no matter what you do. So. Yep. Yeah, because this is um, it's published by I think it's Lumberjack Games, yeah. Lumberjack Studios. Sorry, mm -hmm. and in Europe, and Pandasaurus has the license to print it for us here. Oh, that's cool. Um, in the states, uh, so they had put off stuff digitally, and this implementation is technically from them. Okay. Um, so, uh, the, all those maps are available. That's awesome. Oh, I just boxed myself in. I was talking. I blame Beth. Yeah. <laughs> I would too. I would totally also blame Beth. I think she's trying to distract you. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's working. Wow. And there's a Valentine's Day one too. Oh, cool! And there is a like paint, like a there, there's quite a few in in there. <sighs> Angel doesn't seem too happy either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just pondering. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things that make you go. <laughs> yes. That's why you just go with the best strategy, which is just to click one of the thingies and then throw it somewhere and you can worry about it later. And there's been like barely any nines or sevens. Yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting for a seven this whole time. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to box myself in if I'm not careful here. <laughs> Oh, everything I boxed myself in. So, yay. <laughs> Ooh. All we had to do was complain about it. There we go. So, I've used all my lowest numbers, my additions, and my um, subtractions. Uh -oh. This is going to be pretty. I have a low, high, and then two multiplies left. Oh my. Yeah, I, I had a low this, minus and two multiplies. I just had to oh, I stuck this five in the wrong spot. Mm. Yes, oh. thank you for the low numbers. I can use the multiply. <laughs> So I have to oh, either take next roll, I have to take high or multiply. That's a good idea. Next roll, I have to take multiply, and I now have three orphan. Oh, no. And the frowny face. Yeah, that was just a straight up frowny face for you, then. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it just, and it like puts it on there for you. See, what I have to place won't matter because it's either straight up frowny face or it's going to be or orphan anyway. An orphan, <laughs> yeah. And it'll turn into a frowny face anyway. Yes. So. Might as well frowny face it up. Uh, Anna Maria's got a question here. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you all prefer lots of flavor in a game or more focus on mechanics? I don't know. I think that for me, um, when it ends up being um, more mechanics, you feel like the um, theme was put on later. Mm -hmm. So I like when a game is more theme and then the the game was created around that because it's more immersive mm -hmm. rather than you know something that 
is all mechanics and could be any game because I don't feel like I get as involved with it. That's actually really funny timing too because uh, Angel and I did let him dare. Was it two weekends ago now or last weekend? It's been a, it's last weekend. It's been a long. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it was actually pretty much the first time that I ever like completed a game that was mechanics first. Uh, hmm. The theme was uh, every 10 seconds, which, you know, in a, in a normal video game jam, like not a big deal, you can have something happen every 10 seconds. Tabletop form, that was really fun to come up with. So the, my first day was just spent trying to figure out how to take every 10 seconds in the tabletop form. Mm -hmm. And uh, Angela had an idea for uh, like a push your luck, worker placement, dice rolling real time game. And uh, it was just a very basic like starting of it. And I just started playing with it. And I was like, this is fun, like moving it. So we came up with a completely different game. But uh, it had zero theme until like the last few hours. <laughs> Names had to I slap it on there. She did really good with coming up with how it would work. But mm -hmm. we, it was the last like eight hours that they had no theme whatsoever. But yeah, that game could have been probably seven different things. You know, <laughs> it could yeah. have been anything. It's fun to play, but yeah, it could have been anything. Yeah. I I do enjoy a theme that like makes a game like like logical and, and stuff like that. And and mm -hmm. you feel like you're going through and, and and your actions are surrounded around the theme. But I do have to say that some of my favorite games are feel are, are more strategy and more like Castles of Burgundy. I don't the theme it could be anything. Mm-hmm. Because I, I don't even think, I'm like, oh, okay, I know what this tile does. I don't even know the name. Yeah. And I play <laughs> it. And I'm like, I fill the map. And I got to do all that. But it's one of my favorite games. It's one of my top most played games. So I, I it's a, it, it also depends on the, on the mood I'm in. Mm -hmm. um, so, because sometimes I'm like, oh, I, I'm like, oh, they're like, refreshing and stuff like that so they um depending on my mood <laughs> would be my preference what yeah. about you justin I, I think it's a hard balance to strike um like if, if there's not enough mechanics or like basically things to do in the game i can get easily bored with it because i i want enough stimulation to have choices and do things that aren't all perfect information, but I don't mind luck. But there needs to be enough there to hold me in the game. Mm -hmm. But if it so, if it's just flavor and no mechanic, then to me it's not enjoyable. But on the flip side, if it's pure mechanics, no flavor, no theme, then that's also not as enjoyable. So, so again, it kind of going back to the how I talked before that art gets me to the table and gameplay keeps me there. Like the flavor is what first entices me to check it out and and kind of dig into it, but the mechanics keep me in the game. That's a great point, because we've mm -hmm. even played Welcome To here a few times, and it's one of those that the theme is really cool when you just see it, because it's like, yeah, we're going to be like building a neighborhood, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But then when you go to play it, it's like, yeah, it's the, you know, you do the pool, and you do the orange thing, or the red thing, and like, you know, like, <laughs> and so like, those all have names, and We've kind of joked about making sure to remember to use them, but like, really, <laughs> yeah. once you start playing it, that theme doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, and it's still really fun. Yeah. Well, and like that's I, kind of proved by how many um, different pads they have for Welcome to as well. <laughs> you know, different yeah. themes they do. <laughs> Good point too. Uh, there's this game called uh, Consumption, and it <laughs> literally is the most logical game that I've ever played. Like, um. It's, it's basically about eating and, like, everybody has, like, a different diet. Um, so, like, what you prefer, like, if you're, like, the junk food addict, you don't like vegetables. Um, so if you are eating vegetables, like, you can get negative points. But, like, how you get food, like, you can go out to eat and it goes directly into your stomach. Or you can go to the, to the, gross, to the supermarket, pick up stuff, put it in your, in your, like, kitchen area. And then make recipes that then you eat. And then there's like an activity thing um, where you can like burn off energy. Mm -hmm. So like you might have gotten, you know, too much vegetables and you need to go down so you don't score negatively. Um, but it's very logical, like of how we, you know, eat and burn energy and all these things. So um, 
and now I'm, it's one of the old boy games that I'm like, it's the most logical game I've ever played. And we love it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, and that's one of those where games like, uh, Chelsea, you introduced me to it. Like initially thinking about the theme, I'm like, okay, that typically wouldn't bring me to the table, but playing it kept me at the table. Yeah. Um. So it was kind of one of those flip things. Like you had to get me to the table first, but uh, definitely very crunchy, a lot to the game, and a lot. And it kind of surprised me at how much I enjoyed it once I got mm -hmm. playing. Um, it's kind of interesting. Like <laughs> this is probably multiple times I've talked about that game this past week because <laughs> no, last uh, last week on Thursday with Chris when we were doing an interview, like that game got brought up, and I made some of the same points. It was like. Yeah. It just keeps getting brought up. I, I guess we need to play it again. <laughs> yeah, and it's the the designer is a nutritionist, so this mm -hmm. is like her uh, bread and butter, basically. Um, mm -hmm. So I, 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 like I said, I've never played a game that is that logical. Like, like you read the rules and stuff, and you're like, okay, that makes sense. But this was just, oh yeah. We got this. There, we didn't need to review the rules again on on those on how where things went and stuff like that because it just made sense. Oh, kind of like um, an so. intuitive thing. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, um, it's we really like it. We um backed it on Kickstarter and tried it on at Gen Con with her, mm -hmm. um, and it was a uh, like one of our highlights that year. Nice. I just sure. realized, Angel, well, you obliterated us in that game. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, well done, Angel, on beating yeah, all of us. And I, I want to say yay in that somehow we all beat Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> I have 49. And if you see um final situation, it's because I had 12 Aww. points. Ooh. It's the sad corner. Yeah. Aww. You did say they go in the corner. I mean, mm -hmm. self-fulfilling. Beth, you got zero here. Justin got one sad face, and Beth and Angel got nothing. Yay. No sad faces, yeah. Should BGA we play again? BGA popped up an award I, that said uh, it was my first yeah. win on BGA, so. Oh, <laughs> Yay. Well, congrats on that, but <laughs> a little surprised that with how many, uh, we think you've played with us now. Well, yeah, and time. I've, no, I've had, <laughs> not quite. But. Do we want to try a different map? Yeah, sure. As long okay. as it's not that evil kitchen one. Well, thanks for stopping That's by, and Maria. We enjoyed having you in chat and, and the questions you asked. Um, hope you have a wonderful evening. And uh, take some mental rest. Um, hug someone you love today. Yeah, it was lovely having you here. Thank you so much. Yes. Let's see. No, where are they? I sent. Bum, bum, bum. I'm afraid it's Angel. Justin. Nope. Oh, that's no, Beth. <laughs> and, and for those Justin. watching there along, if you're not friends with us yet on BGA, go hit that friend button. Yes. Invite us to join some games during the week if you want to. Yes. Uh, we're all open yeah. to it. Uh, I will course, play every day. Yes. Chelsea plays every day, all day, just every about. Day. <laughs> Um, but okay. we do have varying levels of availability. Um, <laughs> so, but we can, we are more than happy to try to play games with you online and find ways that uh, we can have fun together because that's what we like to do. Yeah. Angel and I both love to join games. Um, Angel's really good about taking her turns. I will forget for three days, but don't take that personal because oh. I just do it to everybody. Like, so. Oh, do your turn. <laughs> Even Angel, play. Angel and I will be playing a game. <laughs> She'll be like, it's your turn. And I'm like, oh, how long has it been my turn? She'll be like, since Tuesday. Well, speaking oh. about your turn, it's your turn to accept the new game. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> see, I've got to live up to my like reputation here. Really yeah, good. I'll like, I'll be like, okay, I have a meeting for two hours. So I was like, oh, meeting ends. I'll let the dogs out. And while I'm doing the dog, letting the dogs out, I'm like, okay. Can I catch? Okay, got one game down. Two games down. Okay, so what do the darker circle spots mean again? You can only put um, up to a six in, in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it's a max six. You could put a seven in there. It's just going to be a frowny face. Mm. Yeah. You're going to make the mountain sad. Yes. <laughs>
Hmm. Definitely a tightly packed trail. Yeah, it's they get harder. Like you, you know that we pick the easy one. Mm -hmm. That's why I won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was equally easy for all of us. Have okay. you seen the one that's a Christmas tree? No. no. There's a Christmas tree one too. That sounds awesome, though. I bet that shape is crazy, though. Like hard to do that. Yeah, way. and you gotta connect the light bulbs. I think. Oh, cool. We'll have to play that in a couple months. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to do this. I should make a note of it. Put it on your calendar. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I actually had to gather all her notes the other day and put them on a computer <laughs> because I was like, I'm tired of all Aww. these little papers. Here you go. Here's your notes. <laughs> That's so sweet. It was really sweet. I totally agree. <laughs> I like pick up a post it and I'm like, man, this post has been on my desk for three weeks. <laughs> what the fudge is this? And like, I don't even know what I like. Nothing. I'm like, okay. Well, I'm well, just going to read your own post it. Sometimes <laughs> I can even read my own. Notes. I can't either. I just oh. need a seven. I, I committed to a nine eight around a circle. <laughs> This game is going to be rough for me if I'm mm. not careful. They're yeah, called dangerous have, terrain. That's what they're dangerous three terrain. Pluses. Yep. This is definitely dangerous terrain. Oh, you want three pluses already? Ooh. Yeah, because I took eight, nine, nine in the middle. So I have an well, area I mean, and I have a two point thingy, but like I can't do anything more with that because I can't put a seven in the circle. So. Mm. Uh, uh, that's oh, man. I have oh, now I'm I have to take it back. Too. I put that in the wrong place. Hmm. Where are the sevens? I couldn't find any last game. I kept thinking, and everybody said, oh, there's a seven, and it didn't come up for me because I had used that, oh. Oh, no. that no. Uh, thing. I was like, no. no. I need a two and a seven. And I'll have one through nine if I get those two numbers. I have not used a multiply yet. And that's scary. Neither have I. Yup. This is going to be a, um, yeah, a special one. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because now I've used three highs. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Because, the, yeah, there's not an undo yeah. on this either. Nope. <laughs> nope. Once you commit, you commit. Oh, the fives. Yeah. Yes, multiply, multiply. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay with this multiply. Oh, yeah. You should have multiplied instead of doing the upper number. Dang it. He, I clicked on it, and he said it. I was like, oh, change, change, change. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Justin. <laughs> you get one freebie. <laughs> oh, what do I go from here? I need a seven. See, zero or two is my option. It's not, not I what I want. I need a wanted. seven. Uh, Angel's being really quiet. What does she need? Yeah. <laughs> She's been super focused, so she can obliterate us. Apparently. Yeah. I'm never going to Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, yes, exactly. Bring that back. Hmm. Oh, seven! Seven! Ah, woo. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my last uh, addition. Oh. Oh, this is going to hurt a little bit in a second. Hmm. Oh, I almost hit the one tables waiting for you and, and changed screens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would have been awesome on stream. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> no, that's going to not be a good idea for 
I like to join the tournaments too on on this. So there'll be tournaments. Mm -hmm. You have to have like a hundred, like that blue one white mm -hmm. number on your. You have to have a hundred mm -hmm. uh, to join the tournaments. Cool. So I join a um, a few of those, and I'll just start another game once you're done. You know, and the the person that you're supposed to go with. Fun to do that yeah, everybody's very quiet. You, know what to do with this number, like you can terrible. hear the smoke like, coming oh, out of my yep. ears from the thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I only have one of everything left except for multiplication, and I, can't I don't really have. Here, so. I have one low, one minus, and then two of my plus and multiplies. Wow, you have pluses left still. Wow. Mm -hmm. I've used all my pluses. I have one multiplication and one low. And I'm proud of my zero to seven stream. Nice. That's nice. Wow, that is nice. Where are you? There I go. Very nice. I have one oh. through nine on mine. Ooh, there's a good multiply. I have a zero to three and a four to six. <laughs> Oh, another great multiply, awesome. Being nice now. No, I don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can't please like everybody. The office move. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. <laughs> oh. Do you watch The Office like practically every day too? Then because it's on like repeats for like three hours. <laughs> no, um, like I watched a decent amount when it was first out, but. Yeah. Kind of got burned out. I don't care for it as much now, but it's kind of hard to ignore the the, the domain. Yes, uh, my they, sister uh, watches it like constantly. Yeah, constantly. that's the thing. It's it's seriously on for like three hours in a row on Comedy Central, like between mm -hmm. like five and eight. So like mm -hmm. you know, we usually watch TV at eight. We watch eat dinner at like seven, seven thirty. So we'll just go ahead and put it on. It's always the exact same freaking episodes anyway. Every so time. <laughs> like we just literally saw this yesterday on the same channel, and it was an yep. episode we weren't big fans of anyway. So thanks. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. background noise. We yeah. got one more roll, and I still don't have a frowny face. Wow. I don't have a frowny face either. Yes. Until yep. right I now. Yay. Got away with no frowns. Oh my goodness, me too. Me too. I've got a frowny face. Aww. You get a frowny face. You get a frowny face. <laughs> I have a real frowny face now. But I did have a frowny face. I missed. I forgot about that. But yeah, I have a real frowny face. Justin that's cool. won. With, he got 67. Nice. That's That stream of zero to seven, the bonus points for that is what helped me the most. There. Yeah. Mine was uh, 25 bonus points because it was one through nine. Oh, wow. very nice. I would have had that, but I accidentally put a number in the wrong space. And I'm like, no, take it back. It's supposed to go over there. Oh, no. Yeah. That was a quick game. Yeah. You mean very quick online. I mean, they're. I think they're quick, too, in person. But, like, if you're, mm -hmm. like, coloring it or, like, yeah. making dots or stripes to tell apart the different map zones. Well, and in person, it you have to think through the, the math of each thing too yeah. this just tells you oh at the very end yes at the very end yeah yeah all the different like i have to count up how many in each area and all this and that i'm sure so I'm five, yeah so let's look at justin's map since he won yeah. oh and then you had a couple map zones tied into the oh wow yeah to your um string yeah yeah and said so, like you had fourteen points plus your longest fixed line gave you an extra twenty points. Yep, but you know it's my map zone. It's like my biggest one was two, so like <laughs> I only got one. Like, no, it was biggest was three, so I got one point for that. Yeah. In addition. Yeah, mine too. Mine was three, so I got one point. Oh, yeah, my longest line gave me seventeen points and then twenty five. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. And at 50 points, the two of those numbers added together basically beat me on its own. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
frowny face always. But you guys, none, none of you got a frowny face, and I did, so. I did, too. I forgot I had one. Oh. <laughs> but whatever. You didn't get one, one last game. Yeah, you didn't get one last that's game. That's true. That's true. <laughs> And I still managed to lose on this one without a frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, though. I thought you beat me, though. Uh-huh, my dad. Yeah, you beat me. Yeah. Yay, so, I wasn't you gonna, last. You didn't lose, lose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a thing for me, though. We went um, on a... It, when I worked at McDonald's at 15, they decided to go on a, a bowling, you know, trip. We all went out and did that. And um, uh, they handed out prizes for, you know, the best person and the, the worst person. So I got a prize for being the worst out of all the bowlers that day. So, <laughs> so I ended up like I'm the first person that, you know, got the participation trophy for losing bowling, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. You don't win by throwing it in the gutter every single time? I don't no, know. apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> you got the rules wrong. Yes. It was golf, golf um, scoring. Yes. Bowling. They got it wrong. No, you got to play golf scoring while bowling, but you have to play with bumpers up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. I thought the X's were bad. <laughs> yeah. Why were you at X's? Yes. <laughs> so do we have any more questions on the doc we can answer? Sure. Um, what day of the week is your favorite and why? Hmm. I don't even remember what day it is. Sundays. Sundays so <laughs> Sunday is a good answer. But I have reason. I wake up early for work every day. I work up early when I, I wake up even earlier when I have to go to the rescue to work um, from there. Sundays is the one day that m my husband takes the dogs out and feeds them and then lets me sleep in. Which only really means I sleep in to like eight or nine. But for mm -hmm. me, that is like glorious. Sleep in till eight or nine. <laughs> we wake up at eight o'clock every day. So that's our normal time. Yeah. Every once in a while. Okay, not every once in a while. Most days I hit the snooze button five or six times. Oh no, me too. Nine minutes each. So, <laughs> but like, I get up. Nine. I like my alarm starts going out between five thirty and six every day. And if I have to go to the rescue, it because I have to go there, take care of the dogs, feed them, and stuff, and then log on to work. So if I go mm. in too late, then I'm working later in the afternoon, mm. and then I catch more traffic mm. coming home. So those days, and then like Saturday, I had a shift at the rescue mm -hmm. at seven. So I got up at six, took care of the boys, put Ebo in the car and took him to the rescue with me so he could have a play date. Oh, nice. And I came home and took a nap because I was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> so Sundays are my favorite. Nice. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it depends on the week for me, just what plans we have. Like I don't have a favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Like, I used I to look forward to Friday nights when Sci-Fi had the Sci-Fi Friday, mm -hmm. and they had all the Stargates and Battlestar Galactica and all that. That was my favorite, but don't have anything like that now. Yeah, now the TV shows are pretty well spread out. Like we've got, you know, Game of Thrones on Sunday. We have, honestly, I think the Lord of the Rings is definitely like my favorite of all the like streaming shows that yeah. come each week. And I think that's Friday. Friday, yeah. yeah Fridays, so, yeah. So that's a good reason for Friday. But Friday is just kind of like people have too high of expectations for Friday. So Friday is always kind of a lift down, even though like we don't actually work like Monday through Friday. So like we don't even have that. But I don't know. I want to Yeah, say, like people are like want to be off on Fridays. I'm like, it's the quietest day. It's the best day to be working. That's mm -hmm. true. And Friday is actually bad for us because we go for walks and stuff and school is shorter on Friday. So we have less mm -hmm. like, opportunity. And then the weekends kind of stink just because like people are out all the time and you know, we still are very cautious with COVID. So, like, the second anybody's in close to a round, we uh, throw our masks on and stuff. So, or veer to another or, road. <laughs> or generally, like, run away in another direction. Um, I guess if I had to pick a single day, and I do because this is my own question, and then I ask us all of it. <laughs> um, I, I want to say, weirdly enough, I think Monday is my favorite day because it's the first day of what we consider our week. And so it's like a fresh start. It's the one day I'm not behind on stuff. 
<laughs> and uh, then the streaming is fun. So it yeah. kind of breaks up the evening. Yes. Um, we usually do a bunch of random stuff over the weekend. Uh, so it's just kind of like shifting back into like I get to sit at a desk and listen to music really loud while I'm working versus like running all of the house and doing random stuff. So I guess Monday is usually my favorite. What about you, Justin? Uh, I don't know. Like I fully thought about it in a while. Um, and, and weirdly enough, even though you said Fridays are typically kind of a letdown for a lot of people, right now they tend to be some of my better days. Because, um, well, with work, we typically work 410, so Monday to Thursday. So I typically have Friday off. Okay. But if I go into work on Friday, it means I'm the only one there and I can blast music. I can actually get things well, done. Nice. So it's either, yeah. a very, it's either a very productive Friday at work. Exactly. Or I have it, or I have it off, and I can be productive at my new house where I'm trying to do some projects. So either way, it feels a very productive day. Um, so it's never awesome. much of a letdown. And if I do go to work those days, I leave whenever I want because I'm not forced to be there. <laughs> so it's like it really feels like it's my own schedule that day, as opposed to nope, you need to be here this time. You get work till this late. But so fr Fridays are exceptionally better right now. <laughs> That's yeah. a very good reason for Friday. Yeah, yeah. and then let's see about the reason why I, I don't mind working on Fridays. And sometimes I even end up working late because I'm on such a roll and nobody's interrupting me mm -hmm. that I get everything done. I'm like, oh, it's 4 o'clock and I'm still working. Well, nobody's bothering me all day. And I've gotten yeah. everything I need to get done for the whole week on one day because nobody's I am and me asking me to look something up for them. <laughs> oh my goodness, the amount of stuff you can get done without interruptions is just oh, God, yeah. mind blowing. Oh, yeah, totally agree. Yeah, because like on an average day, like because my office basically opens up to on their shop floor, and people always have questions for me. So every 30 minutes to an hour, it's someone coming to the door, hey, can you come look at this? I have a question about this. <laughs> and so it's non stop all day. Or well, we have a delivery, I need to go make sure someone's going out to take something off a truck. So it's really a Hey, no interruptions all day. <laughs> yes. So there, there, there's a good balance there. That's awesome. Um, well, we've been streaming for about an hour tonight. I think mm -hmm. it's a good time we can wrap up mm -hmm. unless y'all have anything else we want to talk about. And I do know next Monday we said we're going to play Can't Stop Express. Yep. Again? That one's yep. fun. So we, we've played that before here on stream. Uh, we'll be playing it on BGA again. So join in next week and play with us because uh, we can have more people join us in game as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. It's just a couple buttons and you get invited in and you don't have to have an account or, or you don't have to have a paid account. You do have to have an account, but it takes you like yeah. 10 seconds to set it up and it's for you. So. As long as the, the person setting up the table has the paid account, that's all that matters. Yep. Yep. So, um, so what we played tonight, Trek 12 was also, I believe, one of the games you do need a paid account for. Um, I think so, yeah. The, yeah, but I was you're invited yeah. by somebody that has the premium. Yeah, yeah so, I have the premium. Yeah, I yeah, have so the like premium. Chelsea has premium. Uh, Beth, do you have premium? Yes. Okay. Yeah, have it yeah, so we have yeah, it. So yeah. we can invo invite you into the game. Like, I don't have premium. So, like, I, I've been kind of moving off either. and getting the games <laughs> with everyone else. Yes. Um, but... Uh, granted, I don't think it's very expensive for those who do want to get it. No, it really isn't. It's about, what, $24 a year if you do the yearly one? Yeah, I think it was five a month or like 25 mm -hmm. a year, which is like mm -hmm. Netflix for a month and a half. Yeah, so if exactly. you know you're going to play a lot, <laughs> go ahead and grab it. And, of course, you can always start tables and strangers can join you as well. Yeah, that's what I do. I hop in and I have strangers. I, I play. I played like 400 games or so on there. Yeah. I pray yes, more than my actual board. No. <laughs> Since I've had it. Since I realized I could open it on my phone, which was very recent, was sometime this year. I didn't know that you could play on your phone. Now, not all games are good on the phone mm -hmm. because you can't, like, it won't, like, click right or move. So, like, Potion Explosion is one that I, I only play mm -hmm. if I'm sitting on the computer yeah. because it just doesn't translate weight well on the phone. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot that do, a lot that are very easy to just play on, and those are the ones I tend to. Like I know Track Twelve plays really well on the phone. I was yeah for a practice game Friday. I was on my phone in the afternoon. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Oh. 
because I was in the car um, on the way back, and I was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, I haven't been um like near like my I, phone I, off." I think I left work, and then I got like I could feel it buzz with a notification. Oh, you need to play. I was like, "Well, I have at least 45 minutes of driving before I can play again." Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And uh, actually, uh, weird segue time. Um, mm -hmm. Talking about a potion explosion, uh, explosion in the laboratory is coming to back with it soon. Yes. Uh, so what day is that launching for everyone who wants to uh, follow along and join the campaign? I didn't specify because I'm not 100% sure, but I think I double check. it was November 1st. I want to say it's November 1st, yeah. Okay, so that would be Tuesday because I believe the 31st of October is a Monday night. We do need to figure out kind of a Halloween game to stream, maybe. That November 1st, yeah. It is November 1st. Okay. Cool. And I've got a link in the uh, the text or in the chat, and then I threw it on the screen for a moment there. If nice. anybody wants to uh, join, uh, just throw your email in there, and you'll get notified when it starts. Yep. So, so that is a, a small, I believe, 18-card style game that is mm -hmm. the prequel to Fire in the Library. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's it right there. Thank yeah. you, Chelsea, um, for bringing that up. And it, no it, it goes hand in hand with a reprint of Fire in the Library, which is also yep. getting uh, updates to it. Yes. I've seen some of the cards and they look great. I mean, I think the game was awesome as it was. So for that to be updated too is just, just amazing. Yeah. And I wanted to get it because I have the old version. And it's a great way to it. go pre order the new reprint of Fire in the Library as well because we have sold out of Fire in the Library. Um, unless you can find it, find it at your local game store, a random copy, we sold out of everything and, and things are getting updated some icons are getting updated yep. rules are getting updated so it's going to be a, a a good time to get it and pick it up you can mm -hmm. get both um it's going to be a, a pledge level i believe from, mm -hmm. yeah so yeah and if you'll notice on that screen too uh that graphic at the top will be updated it says two to four players right now but the text specifies one to four that is the case it's, it's solo also so if you like solo games like Justin or Ani, and honestly, I think any of us, I don't know if Justin, mm -hmm. you play solo games too, but uh, Angel and I, I, I think both like the idea of solo, but we haven't actually done it yet. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm right there. I, I'm like, oh, it has solo. I could totally do this. Yeah, exactly. It's like, cool. I can play this when I want to, even on my own. And it's like. And then I find a game online that I'm playing with somebody yet. else. Well, the key yeah. solo is minimum setup, which 18 card style games are great for that. Yeah. Very true. Sure. We're kind of getting into the solo style of gaming. Yeah, and it, um, I think the case from the images, it looks like it's like a little plastic case. Yeah, we're doing kind of a we hard plastic <laughs> style case. Which is um, fantastic because, mm -hmm. like, you throw that in your purse, if it's cardboard, it's going to get crushed. Or you have to buy a card deck that they, I mean, they sell them on Amazon, which I have some. Yeah. But it already comes with that. And I think that's lovely because you could throw it, like, you could throw it in your backpack if you're traveling, leave it in your car, and it's not going to get smooshed and cards fall out. Since it's already like a harder plastic case. Yeah. yeah. I think the harder plastic is also more resistant to explosions than cardboard. So it works out all <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I, I think it. with that, uh, it's great uh, time to wrap up and say goodnight or goodbye to everyone, whatever, whatever time of day you're watching this. Um, we do hope you have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wonderful week playing some great games. And hope you, hopefully you join us next week uh, as we play Can't Stop Express. Yes. Yes. Happy local time. Yep. Happy yes. local time. <laughs> happy gaming. We hope you have a great week. Bye. Bye. Night.